What's up StarCraft fans? You are watching a co-op mutation. I am CTG and we are doing Battle Hardened on Chain of Ascension. I played this Han and Horner. My masteries were a Strike Fighter Area of Effect, Double Salvage Chance, and Air Fleet Travel Distance. So uh, I actually uh, did this on the replay with Yuri Prime, who played as Warzone. So my strategy will be to just mass Widow Mines and you will see you will see how that works out for me. Nothing but widow mines and of course the assault galleons. So we'll have missile command, inspiration, and hardened will as our mutators. So missile command will mean endless missile bombardments target our structures and must be shot down throughout the mission. Start taking the look of our ally. You can see these these missiles fly in from the edges of the map. These have ten health from the beginning. And they target our structures for about 100 damage. Like so, it does 100 damage. And they keep going, and they keep going in and target our structures. So what we need to do is shoot them down. So any any unit that shoots up can shoot them down. However, later on they will come with point defense drones. That will cancel cancel some of our attacks and make it more difficult to uh, to shoot them down and prevent the damage. Especially, and this is important later on for when they later send nukes that we will have to also shoot down. Otherwise, they they deal massive area damage, not just the 100 that the normal ones do. So to do that, I start a fast command center at the bottom. I have the SCV repair for now. I mean, it costs money, but at least I get to keep my structures alive. Uh, Vorzun has a bit have, has a bit of a better deal. Uh, her structures will take 100 damage, but as soon as they start regening, their shields. Look at that! Look at how fast that thing regens. It's gonna go back. It's gonna go right back to full health. Like so, and this is why uh, Vorzun can afford to take more of a hit than most other commanders because of her of her, of her buff. If you have a Protoss ally for Vorzun, that works out even better. Because both of you can regenerate shields faster in carry or in Vorazun's uh, dark pylon radius, which is why for Vorazun I do recommend dark pylon radius. Because look at that, look at that regen. Look at that, it'll go right back to full health. That's awesome. And it's as if nothing ever happened. Same same deal for the uh, the forge. Nothing ever happened. There we go. My ally is clearing out his expansion using the dark, uh, the shadow guard rather. I mean, if I were me, it would have, uh, I would have put this off auto cast. Meanwhile, I'm starting my, uh, I'm starting my widow mine production. My, 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 my ally is clearing out my base for me, so that's awesome. I drop down some uh, some magmines over there. Well, he's uh, prepared his probes. Oh, that's nice. The enemies are derps. You can see here they are derps. So it'll, we'll have air later on, no matter what. The difference is uh, how much air, but there will definitely be air. So I'm uh. Making some stuff, so making some dudes to help the defend the first wave. Yeah, pull those back temporarily. Bury that widow mine. My ally uses his shadow guard to clear that area. Now I begin saturating my uh, my mineral line. I have a space platform ready. So I'm just uh, waiting for a good, a good opportunity to use it. So I send these Reapers forward. You can see the mini map. There's a Reapers moving forward for vision, and then I drop the space station. I drop the space station uh, to deal to deal damage there at that location. Damage is always nice, especially if you're the one dealing it. So as you can see, I'm just continuously getting mag mines. There we go. 
for that. It does damage, but um, <laughs> you need more. It just keeps shooting down my my uh, my widow mines. There we go. Finally, clean those up. Now we will need a bit of our ally support to help push Janagar forward because she, she's uh, quite the nagger. <laughs> Continue, I'm just continuing the saturation. You can see in the in the production tab on the left, top left. I'm also making another assault galleon and more wood or more, more wood mines. Sending my uh, you can see I'm sending my widow mines to the quarters because they can shoot down the missiles. And what's more, the is that apparently the uh, the widow mines ignore point defense drones. They don't need point defense drones to uh, to shoot or they can ignore. They can shoot the missiles without uh, without worrying about the po point defense drones. They will hit regardless. So you can see there's another attack wave at 7 minutes. This one's quite large for the normal wave. And you can see that we activated, we accidentally activated the, uh, the attack wave early. Sending my widow mice over here. Oh, my allies. I think that was the previous time stop, though. So I used the fleet over there to take out the enemy. Meanwhile, I'm still making more widow mines. Oh, that was a shame. That was a shame. I couldn't uh, couldn't target fire this widow mine. But yeah, we're taking out these hybrids over here. Take care of that. There we go. Nice black hole by my ally. Start another depot. I, mean, I would love to, but I'm currently supply blocked, <laughs> so I can't really uh, do that right now. But my widow is hiding over here. I burrow them so they can deal some damage. Ally drops time stop. So I move these widow mines over here, burrow them, take out the uh, the hybrids. We'll eventually take care of them, but uh, yeah, we need more firepower. For now, I just put my widow mice here to help support Jinagar. There we go. One more. Just keep burrowing those as soon as they arrive. And there goes the last hybrid. In that set, at least. <laughs> Look at all these. Nice thing about uh, the nice thing about Vorzin is that the Han and Horner's widow mines are considered cloaked when burrowed. So that means uh, they get to warp back to my uh, to my commander and help defend. This is awesome. You can see I'm just continuously building widow mines. This is quite a meme tastic strategy. Placing some more, uh, just putting off my widow mines in these locations. You can see. You see where my cursor is clicking. I just, I'm shift clicking them to uh, to different locations so that they can spread out and be more effective in shooting down the missiles. Still getting my economy up. Also getting a missile turret. Oh my! Uh, my refinery is burning. I have another space station ready. So all I, all I need is vision to use it. Looks like Ally's about to push. So that'll be helpful. Checking my upgrades. And then, once again, producing Widow Mines. Yeah, just, uh, just continuously producing them. Not really gonna make some, uh, some, strike, some strike fighters this game. I mean, I'll make two, but just for vision. Those are just for vision. Had to rebuild my refinery because I wasn't able to send a repair inside. Apparently, that SEV was just standing there, without really, uh, without really doing anything to help repair the burning refinery. Hmm. So I start. Uh, when am I starting? Armory? Did they start the armory there? That's a weird placement. But anyway, that's apparently what I did. <laughs> 
I mean, I did record this uh, last Sunday, I think. This video itself, this replay itself was last Sunday. And I'm recording this uh, Wednesday. So I, d <laughs> I don't actually remember everything that, ha everything that happened, but... Yeah, I dropped a space station there to clear out all the units, and you can see it's a shame that my ally uh, used the the stasis ward of the oracles that would that that uh, prevented these uh, these units from dying, and now they're still supporting the hybrid, which is a bit of a shame. Now it still has a uh, hard will. Now that's more work for my ally, which is uh, unfortunate for the team, but uh, I guess that, more, that means more kills for him. I guess. So now I'm able to start two uh, strike platforms for vision. Again, these are mostly for vision. Yes, yes, I'm just uh, just waiting for vision. And burrow that with a mine just to get vision. And I drop it right here. That's gonna take out a bunch of the enemy bases or a bunch of the enemy base. Still making widow mines, but as you can see, I I'm already maxed out before 15 minutes. Which is pretty awesome. That's a call for you. We're moving my widow mines forward. <laughs> the march of the widow mines. <laughs> it's actually pretty scary to see these uh, to see these many widow mines marching. Could use some blink by my ally. Yeah, I got that. I got that nuke. Don't worry about it. Now I now I see that some of my widow mines are not burrowed. I did split them off earlier, but I wasn't able to burrow them in time. It was a bit of a waste on my part. Still, we move on. That allowed me vision of uh, where the enemy is. I'm apparently making banshees. Those are just the, uh, those are actually just the uh, the strike fighters, the precision strike things. Hmm, that one got through my defenses somehow. Good thing my ally, my, my ally was there. Oh, on cooldown. Yeah, that that is indeed a thing. So I keep marching widow mines forward. Yeah, right as they drop the widow mine, or right as they drop the mag mines, that's fine. The enemy is sending forces to support their champion. Allies, right there. So uh, keep burrowing that. <laughs> They'll shoot back. <laughs> yeah, that's like, that's not like gonna edible for Amon. Uh, these mag these mag mines are uh, these widow mines are basically banelings. And with the with the Vorazud buff, they all teleport back to base when they're destroyed. Huh. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, look at that. They just teleport back to base. <laughs> so funny. Uh oh. Things are right from my base. Ally drops time stop. So he jumps in, take those out. Meanwhile, I move forward, and try to get vision for, for these uh, for these widow mines to deal more damage. Start the fusion core so I can get the fire thing. Didn't actually plan to get it, but I had the resources, so I might as well, right? Now we're taking care of these last hi air hybrids. I think they still have that uh, hardened will on. You know, we can take them out. Oh, I think uh, I think the missiles count as other units. Yeah, that's why they keep getting. That's why even if we kill all the enemy units around them, they still have hardened will because of the missiles. That is really f that's a really funky mechanic. Take those out. There we go, and then drop the space station. Sure. They'll take care of it, like so. 
There we go. <laughs> Gotta keep going. Ow. Ouch. I feel bunch of my minds. But I'm sure Mirahan doesn't mind. Hey, <laughs> get it. <laughs> now I move my weather mines to the uh, to the last location. Camping is fun. <laughs> yeah, just I'm I'm heading there. I'm just play, I'm just splitting up splitting up my uh my wooden mines. There we go. Just splitting them up so that they can be more effective. You yeah, just burn them right there. You can see that even though it doesn't look like I'm doing much, you will see later on the score screen that if you want to get more kills. All you need to do is, uh, well, not get that. My widow mines were, were on cooldown. I did see it coming, but my my widow mines were just on cooldown, so this <laughs> was really nothing I can do. Yeah, there I did see I didn't see that uh, Janagri needed supporting, so uh, I sent my I sent my salt guns over there. I did send them eventually. There we go. Now I'm supporting. I was heading over there. I put down some magmines to help him. But he's gonna try to uh, make them all useless because yeah, just, yeah, just do that. Whatever. <laughs> See if I care. I still have the uh, I still have the the widow mine defense, so you can see the score screen later on. I'm still gonna have more kills. You can see this uh, this missile's heading. It went right right past my allies base and it's heading for me again. It's really annoying. Let's get take out a bunch of my depots, but that's fine, just they're just depots. I guess we start them in the middle. <laughs> We're just continuously pushing forward. These rebels have an entrenched position up ahead. You must destroy their encampment if I am to end this fight. There we go, took care of that missile. What a trash position though, there's nothing here. What are you talking about, Janagra? Probably took too much Terezine. So Ally drops time stop, and I drop the fleet. And that's gonna take care of everything. The Widow Mines are gonna finish them off. <laughs> the Stasis Ward though. I use uh, the fleet, or the uh, precision strikes to clear those out. And that's game, GG. Still maxed out. I mean, I did lose units, but these widow mines are really awesome. <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else you can do, please leave that in the comment. And uh, as you can see, the score screen here. In the end, I did double his skills because, as I as I said, the guy who takes care of the widow mines or the uh, the missiles. The guy who takes care of the missile defense will have more kills because there are so many missiles throughout the game, especially if the enemy is Protoss. Alright, if you want to support me on Patreon, just click in the uh, the link on the top right of the screen. A big thank you to Zachary for uh, supporting me on the Pulse Cannon level, and uh, see you!